name is Vahid Chitsas, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for taking this time out of your busy day being with us. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. All right. So, hello, everybody. I'm Martin Semarat. I'm from London at the moment. And I'm a body language and facial expression coach. Awesome. Awesome. Let's dive into Thinking Grow Rich. And then I got a couple other questions I want to ask you. When did All you right. start in Napoleon Hill Thinking Grow Rich book? I think that Think and Grow Rich was one of the many books I've read. Uh, it was like a particular special book because like we all know the content of the book. So it was like great to read it and think about that and then apply these like principles that are written there. And I think that like I started maybe five years ago, I found that book. <laughs> and since that time, I've done a lot of work. So yeah, what was what, what awesome. one of here? What are some of the, what are the two principles that you think um, has helped you be successful on your journey so far? I think there are three principles for me, and that is the burning desire. I think that this one is like the most important one, like the top. Then there is a persistence, but I think that's like derived from a burning desire, because when you have burning desire, you definitely have a persistence. And there, there is like the mastermind group, if you want to call it like that, you have to have people around you that will help you grow and will set you back when you like get away from your journey. So that I is think awesome. that three of the most important principles for me that helped me to the place where I'm right now. I agree with that. Burning desire is the number one principle that Dr. Hill talks about in the book, Thinking Grow Rich. Yeah. And I couldn't agree more with you. It's extremely important for people to know what is it that they want and having that passion, that excitement, that enthusiasm to go exactly. after what it is that they want. I mean, I don't know if the other principles will work if you don't have the burning desire. I think that's just the starting point. Yeah, you got to right. have it. You got to want it. If not, it's not going to work. So tell me a little bit about what is it that you do because it's. Uh, I was watching some of your videos and your Instagram account is fantastic. Love the videos. Thank you. Um, but tell me, what is it that you do? It's like I read people's mind when I like say it with a nice say around. I'm reading body language. It means that your body's, everyone's body is telling what do I feel at the moment. So I'm reading that and telling others what they feel. Or for example, when you want to send some message by your body, I'm telling you how to do it properly because sometimes we don't know how to just our bodies, how to stand, how to talk, for example. So I'm telling people how to do it properly to convey this particular message. Because, for example, some people want to convey a confident message. They want to be leaders, for example, and they have no idea how to act like leaders. Because if you want to be a leader, you have to act like leader. You don't, you can't pronounce yourself as a leader. It doesn't work that way. You need to be that. You have to become that. And I'm telling people how to how to reach that with their like nonverbal communication and the facial expression thing. It's amazing. I've been doing that for like two years now, and I find it very difficult to learn it. But it gives so much in return when you learn all things about these micro expressions and how face works with all the body language. It gives you like instant access to people's mind because we usually can't fake our facial expressions. We know how to do it for a short, shorter period of time. But when we are talking, for example, for a longer period of time, your face is showing what you are feeling at the moment. And I'm reading that and again, getting some conclusions from that. That is awesome. How important is it as an entrepreneur to learn that skill? I think that when you are trying to negotiate or creating some deals, it's essential for you because by these micro expressions, you can know whether that person is willing to, for example, drop the price or he's at the peak of his like strengths. You know much more about the person. You become much more perceptive of his body language, of his actual situation. So you know when you can push more or on the other hand, you know when to step back a little. So I think that's important for all the people, even like when you are in relationship, you need to know what's going on in your partner's head. And I'm teaching people how to do it and how to 
like became better communicators because it's essential essential part of the communication that is awesome so if somebody wants to learn how to do that or how to be conscious about the way they're walking the the way they're acting the way they're speaking the way they're communicating just your body language and be able to kind of control it so you know what you're doing so you're not just walking with chicken with no head how would i go start how do i go learn that is it on youtube can i buy books on it can i learn it do i need to have a mentor how do i go about doing that i think that the body language is something we have rooted in ourselves it's like the system that helped us survive in a in a times when we are running across the jungle so i think that we just need to become aware of that again because when you are going in a crowded city there are people that don't need to like pushing people away they are just jumping away from them so we just need to become aware of that again and i think that the book for example is a great way how to get big be- how to become aware of that because you are reading about that you are thinking about that and you are realizing I know that there is something that like has a hint about that in myself so I think that the book is the best way how to start and then definitely trying that like try to feel that on your body when you read it go to stand for example in front of a mirror and try to feel that because when you are standing in this submissive way of stance you start feeling like you suck that you can't do anything at all but on the other hand when you stand in a strong stance you feel like you can conquer the world so i think that read a book and then try it and you will become very good then listen i i have a lot more questions for you uh that, on that topic because i do notice that we do need to help a lot of entrepreneurs learn that because these type of skills um are not taught in schools so yeah. you definitely need to go and take classes courses read books and spend time energy effort learning it because is it it it's also covered in the book a specialized knowledge this is yeah. this is adding to your tool set to be a good leader to be a good server to be a good person that could help other individuals and put the positive you know environment for other people to flourish also to so i agree with that 100% listen thank you so much for taking this time and being with us i appreciate that i look forward to doing a lot more i was i was just checking your youtube channel I saw that you got a couple of good videos. I'm going to be checking in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to put it on my to-do list. I'm going to check out your 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 channel and see if I can pick up some of the skills myself and then then we'll do another live. That way I have more questions for you. Definitely. I would love to do it. Like I'm happy to talk to you and like it's honor for me that you picked me to have a conversation with you. So thank you very much as well. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Thank talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.